I'm back everyone. I typically make one of these types of videos every year and I'm going to tell you guys right now, there are so many different ways to clear storage out on your iPhone. You can delete apps, you can do all this crazy stuff, but in my experience, the best way to go ahead and clear out your storage, and this is going to sound like a no-brainer, but if you make your way over to your settings, you click on general and you click on iPhone storage, you first want to gauge where you are with your storage. So you can see 128 gigs. I'm at 19 gigs saved, so I really don't even need to do anything because I have so much storage left, but you want to find out the actual area where your storage is saved. So if you scroll all the way down, and if you see right here, my iOS version for some reason takes up 9.13 gigabytes. My system data takes up 2.33 gigabytes. And I know I'm saying that wrong, but what I would recommend you to do, if these numbers are super high, like I'm saying like these are like 30 gigabytes or something like that, you really have one of two choices. You can either try to figure out where all your other like data is saved and all this stuff and try to delete it, or you can back up your iPhone and then factory reset your iPhone and then restore from that backup. So essentially what I would recommend doing is going from your general setting down here, you want to click transfer or reset iPhone and you want to click prepare for new iPhone right here and get started and it'll say extra iCloud storage. So Apple is now giving you free unlimited storage to back up your iPhone. So it's a temporary backup for 30 days and you essentially want to click continue and then you probably want to move all app data with iCloud because you still want to go ahead and actually have your data in there. And then you can click done, and then you will see this backup. So now your phone is being backed up. When this is done, all you have to do is go ahead back into general, go transfer reset iPhone, and then erase all content and settings. That is essentially going to go ahead and delete everything from your phone, but you have this iCloud backup that's still capable for the next 30 days. So you can go and reset your phone, and I would say 99% of the time, that will go ahead and fix this little storage problem down here. So that's typically what I've done in the past. You know, this new iCloud storage option is really convenient, but let's say that's not really what your storage is being used up. Maybe you see this and it's all your apps or something. Well, here is where you can go ahead and delete a bunch of different things from your phone. So what I would recommend doing is kind of scrolling down and looking at the first like 10 or 20 applications that are on your phone. And this is sorted by how big those apps are. So you want to go here and you pretty much want to delete all the different apps, everything that you're not using. So me personally, I don't use numbers at all. I don't plan on using it. So what you can do is click on it. You can click delete app, click delete app down here, and it'll go ahead and delete this application from your phone. And you can just keep doing this one after another after another. And this will save a ton of storage on your phone. This is typically what I do when I first start off. And it has saved me so much storage. But on top, of that you, you may be in a situation where you actually downloaded an ios update before and for some reason you just didn't get around to installing it and you can actually delete it if you want to so either you can install that update or if you see something that says like ios you know 15.4 or something like that you can click on that update and you can see either install it or you can click delete update here delete it and you can delete that update from your phone as well that's another way to save a ton of storage those updates are massive so I'd recommend going through and looking through here and del pretty much deleting anything you're not using. Now, another thing you can do is actually make your way over to your files application, which is right here. And then what I would recommend doing is swiping out until you see on my iPhone. So you can click on my iPhone right there and you pretty much just want to delete anything that you're not using in this files application either. That's another quick way you can go ahead and delete some storage and you know save up some storage that way. You may have a ton of files saved up here and you may not even remember it. And by deleting the stuff here, you'll pretty much save yourself a bunch of storage as well. Now, another thing you can do is make your way back into your system settings right here, and you'll come into this panel. So you want to come back home. And Safari, believe it or not, has a ton of different things that just takes up a bunch of storage as well. So you just want to scroll down until you see Safari right here. I'm going to click on it. And then what we can do is right down here a little bit, you'll see clear history and website data. So what you want to do is you want to click clear history and website data. You'll see this little pop-up. You want to click there and it's going to delete your history. It's going to delete your data. It it may delete some saved passwords, but if you have iCloud Keychain, you can go and recover those. So make sure you jot down your passwords or whatever so you don't lose those. But that's another quick thing you can do. On top of that, you can make your way over to iMessage just like this, and you can delete any iMessages that you're not currently using. For me, I don't really use iMessage that much. Most of my things are backed up on Snapchat, but this is another really awesome way you can go ahead and save some storage as well. So those are the main things you can do. If you find out that you have a lot of photos on your phone as well, or videos, you can pretty much go ahead and you know either send those to your computer or something, save them there, put them up on Google Drive or iCloud Drive, and then delete them from your phone. You can also probably back them up on Snapchat somehow or Instagram, and then pretty much just delete them from your phone as well. 
So those are pretty much the main ways that I typically, you know, utilize to actually clear the storage for my iPhone. Again, there's probably more ways out there like deleting apps and everything, but you want to save, but you don't want to save like one megabyte. You want to save like hundreds or, you know, gigabytes at some times. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to learn.